Maybe you have used it in the past ChatGPT in order to improve your source codes. ChatGPT can be very helpful, but the problem is that using this web interface is very difficult to always try to copy and paste the source code back in your editor. Same problem as when you want to try to fix a bug. And then it's very difficult to insert back this modification. Now, it will be much better if ChatGPT will be directly integrated in your editor. In Elevin framework, this is already configured. For example, we can call it like this, ChatGPT, and then we can type a question. To submit your prompt, you need to press Ctrl U. If we want to copy all the results given, we can press Ctrl A. And then we can paste it. But this is not what we want. So we can use instead Ctrl K, which only includes the source code result. Press Ctrl O for settings, on which you can change them, tap for switch between windows, and here with space you can select the different sessions you had. You can remove your other sessions, or you can rename your actual one. You have other useful hotkeys, but you can check them in your actual configuration. Now, let's see a much more useful example. This source code, it has a few errors. As you can see, this is a typo, this is a double repeated line, and this uh, will fail, of course, because the file is already removed, and this is also wrong. If the file doesn't exist, remove it. It doesn't make sense. So let's see how ChatGPT can help us to fix the box. We can run ChatGPT, run, then this is important, you press space, and then tap to get the different options, and we select fix box. As we can see, this is our source code and this is our result. It fixes the grep word, it removed the duplicated, and it correctly stated that if the file exists, remove it, instead of if the file doesn't exist. If we like this result, we can press Ctrl A to implement it in our source codes. But what if you want to only select a piece of the file? You can do it this way, and only this part is considered. Now, if you want to see a diff between the bold results, you can press Ctrl A. Or for a more clear result, we can try the full source code. Pressing Ctrl D, we can see a diff of what changed in our files. For example, this one is removed, and this character is removed and this is changed to this one. If we like it, we press Ctrl A. We can call other functions, for example, add unit testings. We will see that it adds some unit testings, for example, verify if the word foo is in file, or to check if the file is deleted. If file doesn't exist, test pass it. If we want to document our code, we can use this function. Then again, we can just adapt the result by ChatGPT and fix the things that we need. But what if we have a code that we don't understand what exactly it does? We can try this function. This code defines a function called verify and delete file. This function checks if a file named file exists and if exists it deletes. That's just very handy. If we have some English sentence like this one, we can just try to fix our English with grammar correction. In the same way, you can just translate it to English with the translate function. There is also a function to optimize your code. For example, let's take this one in account. We have three loops that verifies if the file exists and it deletes. 
This is redundant, it should happen only one time. In the same way, we are printing three times the word again, so let's see how this will be optimized. This is a very simple example, but it actually optimized our code to be more simple. Now, let's say that we are editing a piece of text. We can use actually the summarize function, and it gives us a summary of all our text. There is also so many ChatGPT plugins as profiles like these ones. So you can use it as a JavaScript console, a Linux terminal, a software developer, So it's very handy because you have a full ChatGPT integration in your own Vim. So this is very handy and you don't need any browser to use it.